think he is smart. We have a couple haters back here. Oh, you think he's smart? Okay, there you go. Okay, how many of you okay think he's maybe not so smart? Be honest, okay. <laughs> they are actually incredibly intelligent. Scientists say they're about as intelligent as a three or four year old child. So Raise your hand, do we have any three or four year olds? No, really? <laughs> okay, you are all as smart as a lizard. Very good. Give it up for them, guys. <laughs> um. Hi, I'm Sonia Galavis. I teach at Garfield Elementary. I'm a fifth grade teacher here, but I'm also the STEM coordinator for the event. So tonight we wanted to provide an interactive STEM experience with family and school and community and industry. So there's 20 different community partners all engaging, all hands-on STEM activities. Um, what makes this event unique is that families come in with their, with their students for a hands-on experience. Teachers act as the host for their room and industry and community provide the entire experience in every classroom. So it's really creating that intersection between industry, community, home, and school that we're able to engage our families at a deeper level. The purpose of what we're trying to do here overall philosophically is really create um, a bridge to access and opportunity in STEM education. The research is quite clear that there is a huge gap um, in the STEM pipeline with um, populations of minority, of low income, and female. So we are trying to do something about it instead of just reading or talking about it. We're providing those opportunities that will serve um, as a bridge to you know, to STEM education and ho hopefully close that gap. So this bird has long, narrow, pointed wings, which is a characteristic of falcons. So all falcons have several things. One is these long, pointed wings. From the smallest falcon, like this one, which is an American kestrel, this is the smallest falcon in North America up to the largest falcon, which would be about this big, if I had it on my hand. Well, I, it looks like we've already exceeded our numbers from last year. Just from a rough count, it, I'm at over 400, it looks like, of, of families and students here tonight. Um, we have more partners this year than we did last year. We have some returning partners. Um, Boise State University has been integral in this process. College of Education is here, physics department, um, various science departments are here. Um, so we've expanded the community partners and we've also been able to engage more um, members within our community. We have some that are monolingual Arabic speakers, monolingual Swahili speakers, and they are here tonight because their kids knew that this was going to be a powerful event. So we're learning about composting. These are our composting worms that we, um, we feed our fruits and vegetables to and it turns into compost for us to put on our garden. We have everything from quantum physics to the science of sound to how um, buoyancy works to paper making and the Treasure Valley beekeepers. Um, there is a wide range of life science and physical science. The point is, is to give uh, a, a taste of the different STEM activities and STEM careers that are accessible within our own community. We wanted this to have a local feel, so we have lots of partners in industry that are here, that are just down the street, that maybe families have never engaged with. So by bringing them here to the school, this is home turf, this is where we feel comfortable, this is where um, we, we're family. And so by bringing industry and community here, we're creating those networks and bridges that families might be able to see themselves as citizen scientists and citizen mathematicians and be able to access it around, around Boise.